the critics thought Ohio State faculty members Thomas French and Howard Dwight Smith were nuts for thinking the school needed a horseshoe-shaped stadium big enough for 80,000 fans. And they were nuts. Visionaries usually are. Dwight Smith designed it, but in reality it was a house built by Harley. Horvath. Hopalong and Hayes. By Bosa and Barrett. By Griffin and George. Is gone. By Parker and Pace. Spielman and Smith. Tressel and Meyer. Janowitz and Day. Jesse Owens ran on its track there. Sousaphone players dot the eye there. Buckeye fans celebrate there. The Buckeyes win it, and it's Bedlam on the field. The shoe turns 100 years old this season, October 7th to be exact. The horseshoe in Columbus, Ohio. The old horseshoe in the banks of the Olin Town G. This is an electric feeling here in the horseshoe. So what birthday gift do you give to a stadium that already has everything? How about a standing O? Let's take a look at today's road test presented by Goodyear. So Notre Dame is a 17-point underdog heading into Saturday. That's the largest for an AP Top 5 team heading into a season opener since the FBS-FCS split in 1978. The last time the Irish had this large of a spread was the 2021 college football playoff semis where they closed as an 18-and-a-half-point underdog to Alabama and lost by 17. Uh, so knowing that, the question originally was supposed to be, how can Notre Dame keep it close tomorrow? But Des, I want to ask you this first. Okay. Can Notre Dame keep it close tomorrow? Can they keep it close? Of course they can. Yeah. <laughs> you, I believe in that. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah, selling you know, me, dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's not going to be easy. I mean, it's not. I mean, Ohio State is a team that some people think they should be actually ranked number one over Alabama because of all the firepower they have on offense. So it's not going to be an easy task for Notre Dame. But if they're going to go out there and stay, you know, toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ohio State defensively, they're going to have to stop the run. Now, we understand CJ to win the Heisman, right? He's an odds on favor, and he has, like, an incredible receiving core. But I like his running back, too, Trevion Henderson. I think that Marcus Freeman, that defense, they're going to have to stop the run, take some gambles every now and then, and then make sure that you make tackles out in space. Because those wide outs, they get long touchdowns, but not because they're bombs away all the time. Yeah. They can catch a slant, they can catch a hitch, and then they can make a guy miss and go the distance. Yeah, and last time we saw this defense, you know, they gave up 6,000 points to, to Utah. Yeah, and, absolutely. And they were getting hit in the face with a fry, with a frying pan against yeah, Michigan. True. So, I mean, yeah. the, the, the changes that Ohio State made, we, we don't know if they're going to take yet. I, I'm interested yeah. to see if Jim Knowles can get this turned around and what he can do. But the, it, it is a task. I mean, you saw the Oregon game last year. You saw Michigan. You saw Utah. It was the big Achilles heel of this team. They've got to get that fixed. Notre Dame is a big physical unit up front that will test that, and we'll see where Ohio State's at. So the thing about Jim Knowles is he talked about the fact that he needs to instill a new mindset in his yep. defense, a belief. Do you feel like they're going to be able to overcome what they had to, what they did last season on the defensive side well, of the ball? Well, a lot of new faces, right. um, the new scheme. I, I think they'll be more ready for what they see. I think those scheme will be more flexible. I, I thought they did a poor job adjusting to a lot of different things that aren't, aren't quite honestly, aren't that complicated. Right. Now, yeah, yeah. if you have a DC that you trust. I mean, are there going to be bumps along the way? 100% there's going to be bumps. But I think they'll be more organized. They'll give up less big plays. They'll make you earn it more. I'll tell you what. Um, Jim Knowles had a, uh, a good run at Oklahoma State. He was a really good defensive coordinator there. But it didn't happen overnight. It took time. It took years. And I still believe that Ohio State, they have some good guys on defense, but we don't know just how good this defense is, especially personnel-wise. So it's going to take some time. Confidence is one thing that they're going to have to come into this game with, and it cannot lack even when they um, experience some sort of failure, even if Notre Dame drives the length of the field, scores a touchdown. Like, their confidence cannot waver. They always must believe 
in the defensive philosophy and the defensive scheme of Jim Knowles. If beliefs, if disbelief starts to creep in, that can be a big problem for Ohio State's yeah. defense. Sometimes that takes time. I mean, yeah. To believe in the guy. Sometimes you have that moment you go, yeah. yeah this dude's and, pretty and, good. and Jim knows too. He doesn't know what he has until the right. bullets are live. So tomorrow what this guy night, he's going to understand. He, what he can do if These I can guys trust look him. great in shorts running around here, you know what I mean? <laughs> but tomorrow <laughs> night, when it's live, then yeah. he's going to know exactly what he has on defense. Right. And that's exactly what he's been talking about mindset, confidence, and selling that, that mindset as they go into this season. Yeah. Um, obviously, he had the number five team in total offense at the other at OSU, as you mentioned. Yeah. At Oklahoma State, so we'll see what he's able to do defensively there. All right, coming up on College Football Live, we got breaking news at the start of this show that the college football playoff would be expanding to 12 teams. We're going to talk a little bit more about breaking that. News, Ohio State.